Uh, this presentation is to explain uh, about the change units uh, add-in for Microsoft Excel. It does pretty much what you might expect it to do, it changes units. Uh, let's have a look at this uh, problem here. It's uh, Imagine a boat's been travelling for a period of time and I'm interested in its uh, uh, velocity and uh, this is this is how much distance it's travelled. It's, it's travelled 520 miles, 35 yards and 2 feet. Uh, I need to convert those into a consistent set of units for me to uh, calculate, um, to, to add those together to work out the total distance it's travelled. Um, that's what the uh, convert, uh, the change units uh, add-in does. Uh, and I'm, I'm using a function here called toMetric. Uh, I find it quite useful. Uh, it changes things into the MKS metric measurement of in this case it's going to be a distance. So the MKS metric uh, unit for measurement is meters uh, and in fact what's happening here if I just show you this uh, we're taking 520 miles and converting it to the MKS metric unit which is meters that's what that function does there and this little function just tells us it says show me the MKS metric unit for miles for distance uh, and that of course gives uh, returns uh, meters uh, now there's also a from metric so uh, this function here is saying let's take uh, something uh, let's take this number in meters uh, from uh, the metric system and put it into miles and that's what that so okay so we've proved to ourselves that the uh, f the function works because it's uh, changed it back to the same value you might choose to uh, use uh, just the change units function. It's a, it's a very good function uh, for converting straight directly from one system of units to another. So in this case, I'm, I'm, I'm changing uh, cell D2 uh, from meters and I want to put it into yards. Or I don't necessarily have to explicitly use the M and the yard. Uh, I could just use these parameters here. So it shows uh, we're taking a number uh, and we're changing from meters into yards. So that's that's the change units uh, uh, function there. Now, the only thing I would say about change units is that you have to be very careful about uh, the uh, your the the words that you use to describe. It wouldn't make any sense to say to have typed miles here because miles with an s on the end isn't recognised. I'll just show you what would happen. If I type that in, it says it's an unknown unit. I don't recognize miles. So you have to be quite aware uh, of what uh, what words or what units are recognized and what units are not recognized. Um, so I've put together a little uh, spreadsheet here with a, a list of all the units that uh, it, re it, it recognizes. So I'm just going to switch windows. Uh, and uh, OK, here's a great big long list of all the units it recognizes. So all these words will be recognized. Uh, now the case sensitivity of course is very important because there is a difference between little m j for millijoule and big m j for megajoule. Uh, so uh, there is a good reason uh, why it's very precise uh, about the uh, uh, units that it recognizes. I've arranged this table here to say to show to show the common metric. The first for this is a block of energy units. There's a block of force units there. But the first the first value always is the show the metric value. Show the MKS metric value for force. The MKS metric value for force is kilogram meters per second squared, coming from uh, uh, F equals m a. Uh, and the other thing is there's uh, whilst I don't often use uh, kilogram meters per second squared, but I do very often use uh, newtons for force. So there's another function here, and it's it's called show common metric. So it's uh, it's showing me that newtons is actually more recognizable uh, than the kilogram meters per second squared that I I would be using if I was using the MKS uh, metric unit. Again, you can see the same thing here. We have uh, the the uh, the MKS metric unit for, for energy is kilogram meter squared per second squared uh, but the common metric is the joule. Uh, now it's interesting to realize that using the uh, the show metric function it's very easy to check the dimension 
uh, of a particular value. So if you're ever into dimensionally checking uh, your formulae, then uh, you, the show metric uh, function is actually very, very useful. Uh, but of course, the show comma metric function is very useful as well. Uh, I'm just going to go back to my little worked example here for my boat speed. Uh, you can see here that I've added up uh, 6 days, 7 hours and 5 minutes and 25 seconds to work out uh, the, value, the total amount of time in the MKS unit, which is seconds, uh, and from that I can calculate a velocity. Now, velocity is maybe not something uh, I don't tend to talk about meters per second when I talk about velocity. It means more sense to me, particularly when talking about boats. Uh, I understand a knot far better than I understand meters per second. So, uh, I think there's a there's a reason for why each of us will want to change units. It's because of uh, uh, depends where we live in, in the world uh, and uh, our familiarity with certain units. But it's always very good to keep your to keep a sense of a problem by uh, understanding and appreciating the units that you're working in. Uh, here we have uh, mass. Uh, again, I'll just point out that you have to be very careful here. That LBM means pounds mass. LBF is pounds force and LB actually isn't recognized at all so if I just show you that uh, you can see again why words are important when we use the change units add-in um, and uh, here I'm calculating an energy uh, and it's showing the difference between when I show the metric uh, system of units uh, I get one thing and when I show the comma metric I get the probably the unit I would want to use in a calculation which is the joule so, uh, I think I managed to explain most things about the uh, change units add-in. It's very useful uh, for, particularly when doing engineering calculations. Uh, I, uh, I like it a lot and I have it permanently installed uh, uh, on uh, my uh, uh, Excel. So, thank you very much for listening and uh, I hope you enjoy it too.